is a very, very easy way to theme your device. I mean, it looks awesome, guys. I love it. What's up guys? Welcome to the Macintosh Review. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can install themes on your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. This will work on iOS 10.2, iOS 10.1, and iOS 10, and this does not require a jailbreak whatsoever. It will emulate the theming of jailbreaking without a jailbreak or Cydia involved at all. Absolutely awesome. So let's jump right into it. So this does only require a few steps. Super simple, guys. The first step is to actually load a website in Safari on your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. The link will be down there in the description. The link is iSkin.ToolIPhone.net. If you are on mobile, you can just go ahead and click the link that I have down there in the description. Again, it is iSkin.ToolIPhone.net and it will bring you to a website that looks like this. As you can see, the website itself actually states that you can create and install iOS themes on your iPhone or iPad without jailbreaking and you can go ahead and follow the developer's social media links if you so choose right there on the home page. They also have a featured section of themes that you can go ahead and scroll through here. And they also have an install iOS themes section where you can browse by th all themes, apps, categories, authors, or select specific apps that you have installed on your device. You can also upload iOS themes that you have created either for Cydia or for this method. They will work on this website as well. I'm gonna go ahead and browse by all themes. I'm sure this is what most of you guys will do when you first start. You can see that they do have a terms and conditions section here that you do have to agree to. If you scroll down, they give you some more information about the website and the best part is right here where you can actually view all of the themes they have on their website. You can filter by the newest themes, the most installed, the most popular, or the oldest. I'm going to stay on the newest here because I do like this theme down here, Watch OS. If you do want to install another theme, it is the same install process for all of these themes. I will just be showing you one as an example. So go ahead and click the theme that you actually like. I'm going to do Watch OS. As I said, you can go ahead and agree to the terms and conditions. It'll close that section. You can also scroll down, view a little bit more about the theme like you would it in Cydia, see who the developer is, see how many times it's been installed, and actually view a few previews of the theme itself. I really like the way this looks, so I'm going to go ahead and try to install this. All you have to do to install it is scroll down. You can see that this is the install section. Go ahead and click in here to install it. After you install, you can also install some blank icons or custom icons that you have on your device, and here it will give you questions if you have questions or problems after installing the theme. So to install the theme, all you have to do is go to the application icons section there, scroll down, and go ahead and select whatever icons you want simply by tapping on them. You can also rename the icon label any way you want. I'm going to name it test. You can also select quick actions up here to install the theme fully on your device. You can select all of the icons to install every single one, or you can select none of them, or you can select only a few. After you've selected exactly what you want to install and you've renamed the icons exactly the way that you want to, you can go ahead and click install the icons, which will bring you into the settings application in a profile that you have to install. Just continuously click install. It will bring you back to Safari, and you can go ahead and click the home button. I've already installed this on my device, and as you guys can see, I mean, just look how awesome that looks, guys. Looks exactly like the preview, looks just like a jailbroken device. And I really, really like the way that this website works. So to show you guys how the app icons work, they are just shortcuts to the main applications. If I click App Store there, it goes ahead and links me to the App Store. If I go ahead and click Messages, it will link me directly into the Messages application. Now there are some limitations here. Some of the applications don't actually work. For example, Settings does not actually bring me into the Settings application, which is just a glitch from not actually being fully jailbroken. Also, another limitation is that you will not have badge icons on these application icons as there are still the official icons over here where, which will have the notifications there. But these do actually work as icons. They do link to the application for the most part and it is a very, very easy way to theme your device. I mean, it looks awesome, guys. I love it. So if you did actually want to tweak this theme or if you had some problems with it, you can go back into iSkin. You can go back to the main page of the theme by clicking back there. Here you can probably see the FAQ section section, you can go ahead and click in there, or you can go back and make blank icons if you wanted to. If you had a problem with the other application icons, you can go back in here, go ahead and rename it, and you can reinstall the profile. Now, if you did want to remove this theme and go back to normal, all you would have to do is go into the settings application, go into general, then scroll down, go to profiles and device management, and then go into the profile that you installed, go ahead and click delete, enter your passcode if necessary, 
and click delete one more time and the icons will be removed off your device. I want to keep this theme on here, but it really is an easy way to install a theme and very easy to remove. Hopefully you guys enjoy this and I really do think that it is the best workaround, the best website to install themes without a jailbreak. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to smash the like button and stick around for more. I'll be uploading more videos like this in the near future. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss those. If you want to follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Google Plus, or my website page or Instagram, I will have all of those down there in the description along with a couple extra goody links for you guys to check out. Anyway, thank you guys for visiting the Macintosh Review. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and I will catch you guys next time. Peace out. Stay awesome.